Koh Samet is a beautiful island of the coast of South Rayong. It's the perfect destination for a weekend getaway and has pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, a range of water sports, and other activities. In this video, we count down the top 10 things that you need to do in Koh Samet, Thailand. Let's get started. Ploi Talai is found on Sai Kiao Beach and is one of the best night spots as they have an amazing fire show. During the day, Ploi Tale operates as a restaurant and turns into a nightclub by evening. Ploi Tale offers two dancer floors, one inside and one on the beach. If you're looking for an unforgettable night out, this is a must while visiting Koh Samet. Jet skiing is another exciting activity that can be found on the beaches, a challenging but fascinating and mind-boggling experience that all tourists should definitely try. The north side of the island is where you'll find this type of activity. Despite the fact that this endeavor will eat up a lot of your wallet, it'll be well worth it. It's been designated Thailand's third national marine park. In addition to the land and sea, the park encompasses the Mu Ko Samet, Samet Islands, which includes Ko Samet, Chan, Ko Kudi, Ko Makam, Ko Kwai, as well as Ko Ta Lu and Ko Tai Kang Gao. Ko Samet, also known as Ko Kiao Fitsadan, is a noteworthy location. For those interested in exploring nature, there are three routes to choose from in this park – Koh Samet, Kudi, and Kiao Laim Ya. Species of trees and wild creatures such as masked palm civets, javan mongoose, long-tailed macaques, varied squirrel, barn swallow, and owls can be found on each trail. Koh Samet is a paradise for divers with its many beaches and underwater adventures. PADI certified agencies can arrange tours to help inexperienced visitors learn how, but experienced ones will have no trouble finding their favorite spot on the deserted south side of this island where there's plenty to explore. Fishing in the deep sea is a popular pastime for tourists in this area because of the abundance of marine life that can be found here. In the deep waters of the island's beaches, visitors can find a large variety of unusual species including grouper, dorado, trevally, parrotfish, and more. Squid fishing is also a popular pastime on this island at night. When you arrive to the island of Koh Samet, you're welcomed by a giant mermaid statue. But it's not the only mermaid on the island. You also have Fra Afai Mani, the two statues of the folklore of the prince and the mermaid. The story is considered to be one of Thailand's most epic fantasy stories and closely represents the story of the Little Mermaid. The easiest way to discover Koh Samet's many secluded beaches and coves is by chartering a boat and traveling around the island. Discovering islands such as Khoai, Kham, and Plai Tin, amongst others, is possible using this method. If you're still thinking about going to this stunning island, why don't you add this to your agenda for a revitalizing experience in the great outdoors like you've never had before? Getting around the island by kayak is a great way to experience the tranquility of the island's isolated coves and beaches. There are less pebbles and rugged coastlines on the east side of this island, making kayaking more enjoyable. If you have the will and power to paddle all the way to the island's farthest reaches, you'll save money and time, and you'll have a lot more fun than if you were being escorted by a tour guide. Kayaking is best done in the afternoon and early evening, where you can also catch a beautiful sunset. You can't miss Wat Koh Samet, located in the heart of this island. It's not only a temple, but also home to some beautiful murals and an even more magnificent Buddha. Sometimes there are monks who will gladly explain everything you want to know about your visit here, so don't be shy, ask them anything. A scooter is a good way to see the small island of Koh Samet. Because it's not too big, it's easy to find all the beaches and interesting places on your own. Scooter rentals are inexpensive and cost around 300 baht per day. Usually a full tank of gas is included. Also, the roads are in pretty good shape, and the traffic on the small island is also easy to deal with, leaving this a fun and inexpensive activity for those trying to get many photos for the gram. And that does it for our list of the top 10 things to do in Koh Samet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share the video, and drop a comment on where you'd like to see us go next. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified of any new videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time.